everybody, welcome to the Patch 12.18 Preview Part 2. Now remember, there are three parts to these videos. The first part is when Riot doesn't list the actual changes that are happening. Now in those, I go through why I think champions are being buffed and nerfed my guesses and assumptions for that. So if you want to see why these are being changed, go back and watch part one before this video. Part two is me going over this, and then the actual patch notes themselves are when these changes go live. Now remember, until these changes go live, they can be removed, new stuff can be added, these can be changed. So if you want to know when and how these actual changes are going live, make sure to watch the patch video in a, in a week. So these will be live in a week. I just want to answer that because some people don't get that. These aren't live now, they will be live in a week when I release the patch note video. Okay. So there's a couple of wild changes going on here that I want to go over because this patch writes us are toning it down for worlds, but there's some changes here that are actually wild. So the first one is Ash. Now Ash has a lot of damage multipliers in her kit. She doesn't do like Kogma or Vein levels of sustained damage, but she's definitely up there. And so Riot has always kept her attack speed from her Q low because they don't want, you know, like on hit Ash just utterly obliterating everyone. The issue is her lack of mobility has meant that she tends to not be that viable as an EDC, but I don't think she's really that bad. So her the attack speed on her Q is going from 20 to 40 to 25 to 55 percent. So this isn't a nerf to support Ash at all. Support Ash will be continuing to do its thing. Um, AD Ash, Bot Ash, Carry Ash will now be much better. I'm a bit wary of these changes because again, on hit Ash was actually seeing some viability and uh, buffing the damage. I, I think some of you don't realize how much damage an Ash does when she's allowed to actually attack. And so buffing that even further is going to be a bit uh, scary. Thrash is getting 5 more health per level, and the damage on his E is going up by 10 to 30. So this is Riot continually buffing Thrash's damage. Um, I don't really know why they're doing that. Uh, I, I guess they're trying to make sure that he can kill people through the durability update. I really don't think it's a good idea for Riot. Like, they are giving him more health, but like... Thresh never did damage because he has a shitload of CC. If his issue is that he's too squishy, then maybe you should make him less squishy with, you know, more health growth or shielding or stuff like that. Just lopping on more damage just seems like, oh man, the Thresh can't one-shot people. Let's bring that back. Like, that was a point of durability meta was that if Thresh hits his Q, he you don't just instantly die from full at level 2, you know? Okay. So Lee Sin is getting uh, six more health growth. Wow, his health growth was really low. And the amount of uh, lifesteal slash spell vamp he's getting at his W. I don't know why they don't just change that at this point, but whatever. The amount of vamp he's getting at his W is going from 5 to 23 to 5 to 27. So at max rank, his W will be healing him for 4% more. Um, they were trying to keep that low to try to keep Top Lee Sin from uh, dominating again. So I, I don't think Top Lee Sin's going to come back. I don't think so. I, probably not. But um, yeah, overall, so they're not buffing Lee Sin's damage. They're just buffing his survivability, his 1v1 capabilities, which is probably fine. Yeah, this is a change that scares me. Okay, so currently Wither slows your attack speed by half of the amount of uh, movement speed it slows. So up at max rank with max blah blah blah, right? Like it, it could slow up to um, something like 50% of your attack speed at the last second of Wither, right? At max rank. So they're changing it. Instead of slowing by 50% of the movement speed, it's going to slow your attack speed by 75% of the movement speed. Now, just to keep that into perspective, that's a lot, okay? Wither slows by 35% and then based on your rank, it then moves up from there. So if I... Uh, yeah, if I'm, I'm, I'm gonna just open this up right now. Currently, the maximum cripple, the maximum amount that it can slow your attack speed is 23.5 to 47.5%. So that's about right. That being buffed and by going from 50 to 75% means that this number is gonna go up 50%. So it's gonna be over a 30% attack speed drop and um, nearly, I'm, I'm, I'll just call it a 70% 70, 70 attack speed drop in max rank. This is kind of scary from Riot, and I'm not entirely sure this is a good idea. I'm just gonna say it actually, I think this is quite a bad idea. Um, the attack speed slow on his W was already good. It let him win a lot of matchups. It was quite frustrating to fight back into. Making it even higher, I'm not sure that's a good idea. This second change, I'm a bit sketchy on, but whatever. They're reducing his ultimate from 120 seconds cooldown to 110 to 90. 
I think this change alone is a good change that will make like the champion a lot better. I'm not sure what this change is. This change is bad. This is a bad idea. We, we might start seeing shit like support Nasus because AD carries are going to really struggle to deal with being withered. Remember, they're slowed down considerably, okay? It's not just the attack speed, so, but screwing over their attack speed at the same time that they can't move or fight back, that's pretty brutal. Um, I'm not sure that's a good idea coming in from Riot. There's already a lot of champions who force the ADC to go cleanse, to have cleansed even fight back. This this seems like a really sketchy idea, Riot. I don't, I don't know if this is a good idea. I'm going to say it. This is a bad idea. This is a real bad idea. Do not do this idea, okay? Misfortune. Her attack damage growth is going from 2.7 to 2.4. So that's not that much, but whatever. Her HP growth is going from 107 to 103. So 4 less health per level, 0.3 less damage per level. Um, I think what Riot's trying to do is force Misfortune to be more of an early game champion and less of a late game champion, which is weird considering they buffed her late game earlier okay i guess they're reverting and they're going and they're saying oh now she's an early game. just to be clear her, her win rate is totally out of line so um reducing her scaling reducing some stats i i think okay actually i i know what they're doing here come to think of it so she was doing a lot better at the low ranks and the high ranks she's doing overpowered at all ranks but she's really really overpowered at the low ranks and only kind of overpowered at the high ranks so i think what riot is doing is they're trying to target her late game to affect the low ranks more because remember uh at the low ranks late game matters more at the high rank early game matters more so i think they're trying to keep her viable um across all ranks by screwing her uh low ranks more than her high ranks i think that's it Callista's losing 40 hp baseline so her early game is going to be considerably worse um this should hopefully kill top Callista, maybe at the very least they should make bot Callista far squishier 564 is pretty low even with the durability update that's now getting into the lower numbers so yeah large 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 nerfs on hecarim and kane here i'll just say those two hecarim the ad ratio on his q is going from 95 to 90 percent that matters because he q's a lot the ramping damage on his q is going from six percent per 100 ad to five percent per 100 ad remember that stacks three times potentially so by lowering the ad ratio even by that much even like if you had 100 ad it would be 18 percent and now it's going to be 15 percent bonus damage so with less ad ratio and with less scaling ad ratio that's going to make his q do not like oh my god it's doing half damage but yeah its damage will be noticeably impacted the healing on his w is also going down from 30 percent to 25 percent and then the uh, ratio, so the amount of bonus healing you would get per AD, it's going from 2.5 per 100 AD to 2% per 100 AD. So with 100 AD, it will now be healing 27%, whereas it used to heal 32.5%. So less healing and less damage. And remember, because he's doing less damage, then he's going to be healing for less, because the, the healing is based on his damage. Basically, this is going to turn Lawnmower Hecarim way down. He's going to be doing way less. Now, is that going to be balanced? Is he going to be balanced? I... I don't know, but you know. At, at any rate, this is a this is a pretty. Th this will probably balance him. Kane is seeing a massive, massive nerf. They call it Rost. The Q HP ratio per 100. So for every 100 AD, he now gets 3.5% uh, health damage instead of 5%. So if he was at 200 bonus AD, he would only be getting 7% damage instead of 10% damage, which is a large drop. That that that's a very large nerf to his damage uh particularly into the late game remember he heals based on his damage dealt so by reducing his damage they're also considerably reducing his healing i thought red like i thought rost was like a little bit overpowered this seems like a fairly large nerf uh to the champion so yeah Lulu, okay, so the W movement speed is going from 30% to 25%. That's the amount of movement speed she can give herself or an ally. Now, finally, Riot, after 12 billion years, is finally realizing all CC got nerfed in duration a long time ago, except for Polymorph. Now, they gave the duration back to Fiddlesticks' fear, but that's because it's fear. That's like it's his thing, right? Um, so the duration on Polymorph is going down to 1.2 to 2.0. It used to be 1.25 to 2.25, it will now be 1.2 to 2.0. So it's actually in line with what most other CC was nerfed to, like seven years ago. 
They're finally noticing they never nerfed Polynor's generation. How many times have I talked about this? How many times have I bitched about this? Like, I sit here and I read the patch notes and it's like every month or and every day on stream, I'd just be like, yep, yep, they never nerfed Lulu's Polymorph duration. Yep, yep, yep. This nerf in uh, combination with the cooldown nerf. So it's thir 17 to 13. Now it'll be 17 to 15. Remember when they reduced it? They literally reduced its cooldown. Remember it had 11 seconds cooldown? Holy shit, Riot is stupid. It used to cap out at 11 seconds cooldown. It will now cap out at 15 seconds cooldown with a lower duration. Shockingly, Riot, a point and click CC should not have a low cooldown in a long duration, especially on a champion who has a shield, an effective shield on her ultimate, and a slow on her Q. With multiple forms of CC and multiple forms of damage blocking and a slow, this champion was totally out of line. I have no fucking idea why it took this long to nerf this ride. Jesus. Okay, so Nocturne. They give him the highest aid attack speed ratio in the entire game. So now they're nerfing his attack damage growth from 3.1 to 2.6. That's 0.5 less damage per level, which actually is kind of significant. Um, I, I guess... I, I'm not really sure what they're going for with this one. I, I guess he will now hit a lot more, but it will do less damage. I'm not, once again, I, I don't really understand where they're going with this. Like, is Nocturne just supposed to, like, sit there and just be like, <laughs> like <laughs> I don't really get it. Okay, so Maokai is being nerfed really hard, which I kind of suspected, but I didn't think they would hit it this hard this quickly. His passive healing is going from 4.8 to 14 to 4.5 to 12%. So at max rank, the healing is going from 14% to 12%. That's a fairly significant drop in his healing. I think that actually makes it weaker because they, uh, they originally nerfed the flat healing to give it a higher ratio. So now they're nerfing the ratio back to where it used to be, but they're not increasing the flat healing back to where it used to be. So since, like... The, the rework they did, he's now going to heal less. He he was healing more, now he's going to be healing less. The AD, sorry, the Q ratio to monsters, or sorry, the Q monster bonus damage, there we go, is going up 40 flat. So instead of doing 40 to 120 bonus damage, it's doing 80 to 160 bonus damage. And then they're randomly nerfing the AP ratio on his E. I'm not sure I really understand this one. I, I guess maybe support Maokai was still really annoying and they just kind of wanted to like slap it a bit. Someone like went AP Maokai into a sapling and Riot was just like, uh. <laughs> okay, so Udyr is also getting a little update and by a little update, I mean massive across the board nerfs. <laughs> okay, so Udyr is getting massive across the board nerfs actually. His health per level is down eight his armor per level is down 0.5. This is significant. This takes Udyr from like, he's a tank to he's a tank? Um, the AP, they said the mana cost on his Q, only his Q, I don't really know what's going on with this one. The mana cost on his Q is going down to 20 flat. So less early game and also less late game, but the mana cost on his other abilities isn't going down. I don't, I don't get it. Okay, so, um, the first two hits gain 50 attack range on his Q, so I guess you can like hit people easier. And then they're just making it do giga damage. Um, the Awakened version now deals an additional 2-5% to max health physical damage on the first two attacks. So he now has an AD ratio and does more health damage on his Q. So his Q, which already did good damage, it just was like, he's too squishy. Now he's going to be even squishier and do even more damage. Okay, and then the AP ratio and the lightning strike is going up. Okay, <laughs> um, his uh, W, Iron Mantle, the healing is going down. I'm not going to read all these numbers. Basically, the amount he heals is going down, like the health ratio is going down. The amount he shields, the health ratio is going down. But the amount he life steals, so if you build actual damage and do damage, the amount he life steals is going up. So I guess they're trying to buff his W if you're going AD, but they're trying to nerf his W if you're going um, AP. But the thing is, both forms build health. So by nerfing his health, nerfing his armor, then nerfing the health shield, and nerfing the health heal, um, every Udyr is going to be significantly squishier. So I'm not sure Ride's really thinking this one through. I don't think this is going to make AD Udyr viable. I think this is just going to kill both forms of Udyr. 
So then Wingborn Storm is also having its flat damage nerfed and the AP ratio nerfed, and then the damage to minions is also being nerfed unless you're level, what is that, 11 to 16. 11 it's the same, 16 it's getting buffed. So damage to minions down, flat damage down, AP ratio down to Wingborn Storm. So AP Udyr is seeing massive nerfs, all Udyr is seeing nerfs, AD Udyr is seeing some buffs. I'm gonna be honest, I think this just kills every form of Udyr. I don't think that this makes like AP Udyr better, I think this just makes AD Udyr worse. So I, I don't... I don't know, that's just my opinion, man. And that's that's the entire patch notes, that's my opinion. I, I don't think Udyr... Unless I horribly misread his numbers, or he's just like way more broken than I could possibly have thought. It kind of sucks, because my last two videos on like how to play a champion were Udyr and Maokai, and now Riot's killing Udyr and Maokai. <laughs> oh well. Oh well, that's why, I tried to, that's why I tried to put out those videos as fast as I could, because I knew that shit was coming. You guys should listen to me. I'm smart as shit. I give you guys the best builds as fast as I can, okay? So these won't be live for a week, though, okay? So uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you for being here. Make sure to like. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to come back and give uh, your thoughts on these in a comment. Remember, the more thoughts you give on comments and the more you talk, the better these videos do. Yay! Um, special shout out to my Patreon supporters. You guys continue to make videos like this possible and uh, continue to allow me to continue to make these videos. Special shout out as well to my YouTube members. You guys are amazing. Thank you for being here. And thank you to anyone who just watches the entire video and gets this far. Thank you. And I hope you all have a great rest of your day. Goodbye, everybody.